Hi guys, welcome back to Lynette Dance Vlogs. Today's vlog topic will be about online dating apps and it's about the experience of no other than myself. Alright, before we start this video, there are some disclaimers. I know that there are many young viewers out there of my channel. This video is going to talk mainly about dating apps. So if you feel that it's not so appropriate for your age, please refrain from watching the video. <laughs> Secondly, okay, I will keep all the names of the gentlemen I've met through this app confidential to protect the interest of them and also I'll be using nicknames if I ever have to like abbreviate you guys to be familiar with a certain story or guy that I will be talking about later. So without further ado, let's get the juice juicing! Alright, so what triggered the interest for this topic? Basically, I've been using dating apps for about 3 years. Yes, about 3 years and this was all like at least 2 years ago. And um, as of now, I'm no longer using dating apps. The apps that I mostly use is Tinder and CMB. But of course, I don't use Tinder that much because like, you know. I think it will be an interesting topic to share and for you guys if you're like curious if dating app is the thing for you or like you just want to hear some stories. <laughs> Come join me! So to start this, I actually posted an Instagram uh, question. I actually posted an Instagram question and I asked you guys what are some questions you have for me. Um, to prepare for this video, I actually had to go through the experience of re-downloading back my CMB and Tinder but I couldn't log into Tinder for some reason. I will, uh, I will show you guys the how my profile looks like. Yeah, don't judge me. It has gone through like many rounds of like edit, re-editing, edit, re-editing to give off like certain personality, profile, I don't know. I don't know, it's just mature things, yeah. So the first question is, how weird can it get? I think this experience was like, I don't think it's weird, I think it's just a little bit creepy, but on my part, I want to like make a disclaimer that I should not have revealed so much of my personal information, but this story is about a guy that I uh, matched with on CMB, and I told him that I work in a claw machine shop. I was actually doing part-time in a claw machine shop to help my friend who is the boss of the shop. For fun, because claw machine so cute, right? You can catch Pikachu's all day, yeah. And okay, main point, main point, Lynette. Main point is, um, I've never met him in real life before. Only seen him in the photos, and didn't chat for that long either. But one day, I told him that I was having a sore throat because, as a dance instructor, I'm always having sore throat. Yeah. And then he actually came down to Westgate to pass me herbal tea. No, not herbal tea. Who's this guy? No. To pass me Los Angeles. But I remember walking out of my shop and then like walking straight to the MRT and then suddenly this guy like taps me at the MRT and be like, hey, are you Lynette? Then I'm like, yeah, hi. I mean, I have this default like, okay, let's be friendly face. But actually internal like freaking out like, who are you? Yeah. So he says that like he's that guy and then like he um, uh, asked me if I'm going home and then he actually like boarded the train with me and then I was trying to make him not follow me so I kept asking where he's going obviously the paths like don't it's not on the way and then I was like oh yeah I think you should go the other way because it's not on the way you know yeah <laughs> and then like he's like um oh no it's okay I will follow you and it was really really uncomfortable the whole train journey and I don't know, I think his belief, he was like a little bit touchy. Like he was, I mean I'm exaggerating, but like he was trying to pass me the Los Angeles and then like, 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 I don't know, like he touched my hand and like, I don't know, I'm pretty like sensitive on this kind of stuff. I don't really like it when people touch me. Even the first time when he introduced himself, he wanted to like shake hands, then I'm like, the worst thing is right, this happened for the next few days. It did not end there. So obviously I was freaked out, right? So I started like ghosting him. Not the best thing to do, I know, but I'm like terrible at rejecting people. So I ghosted him and then um, the next day I was working at the claw machine shop again and he actually don't know what time I end work, but he actually came down to camp. Camp outside the claw machine shop, you know? Yeah, and then like um, he asked my boss about me if I'm working. And then uh, he even left like roses. 
And my boss even tried to sell me out by saying, okay, you come and play our call machine, buy 100 token, I'll give you Lina's address. If you are the person watching this video, I remember you. Weirdest date I've been on. Okay, so weirdest date I've been on um, is about being weird again. But I think I would consider this the weirdest date another guy because um, he's one of the guys that have not gotten over his ex. And he chooses to like meet new people. Yeah, I'll call him the guy who has not gotten over his ex. I mean, not that I can help him get over his ex, but more like I was willing to like, you know, we can be friends. I, I wasn't like desperately looking for a relationship. So I was more like, you know, we can be friends because like there were quite there were quite some common interests. We both like Pokemons and he's like into sneakers and stuff which is like pretty cool because I'm a street dancer I like to look at shoes too I guess yeah and then um, it's weird because of how it ended so we text almost on a daily basis right and we met up many times we went to a bar to drink we went to dates at Jewel we went is this too much information and we didn't do anything wrong really really yes all these dates, I never do anything romantic. I literally just hang out with them like friends. The guys didn't try to do anything too. Serious. Yeah. I think I sort of like filtered out all those weird ones already before I met them. Yeah. Yeah, so it was just like a friend hangout. And the weird part, and the weird part, get to the main point. And the weird part is that I thought it was going well like as like a friend, you know. But suddenly he goes me. He ghosts me. What the? It's like, who ghosts me? Hello, who am I? How dare you ghost me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not that I didn't get ghosted before. In this app, it's very common for me to ghost people and even more common for people to ghost me. But I even went to the extent of double texting him. Just once. Just once, which I really regretted yeah and then like after a week and then he still like didn't reply my text i was like low-key angry low-key angry and then i just like you know telegram has the awesome function of like deleting the chat for you and that person right yes poof never existed in my life before yeah moving on Um, what makes me want to go on dates? Okay, I think I was just like freelancing dance and doing part-time as you can tell I was working in a claw machine shop Clearly nothing much to do in my life Taking a break I guess after I graduated from university Yeah, so I had some time to spare and then but my schedule was kind of inflexible because of dance Like we always dance in the off like the non-working hours Yeah so I wanted to make more friends and I think I guess I was just bored, let me admit it. I was lonely, I was bored. Were they seriously there for dates or flings? So people who I meet, I'm not going to say people who use dating apps, people who I've met, like successfully met on dating apps. Um, I'm not sure is it because of like, you know, when we text, we actually are like filtering out people, right? And then like we only meet this certain group of people that sort of like, values align with us in terms of what we are looking for or what our expectations are yes but generally people that i meet um i would say that they are not like players they are like decent guys it's really just like but when we meet up it's really just like getting to know each other and see if it works and a lot of times it's quite like amicable um like we would ghost each other together like after one meet up, then like, I'm not feeling it, he's not feeling it too, we all know that we run both not feeling it, then it's like, just stop talking law, yeah. Okay, next question. Got anyone gave you the love at first sight feel? Don't have. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think like, when, when, when I go for this, generally it's quite nerve-wracking because you are meeting someone online for the first time. So it's like sensory information overload, you know. It's like you have no extra processor to process how this guy looks like. 
because like okay i'm sure like before you meet a person he probably like stalk his instagram look at his picture left right keep scrolling scrolling a lot of times to like see and make up your mind if you want to meet that person so like most of the time you'll be able to recognize that person yes and then it just stops there like you don't process his looks anymore because it's more like oh my god it's the first time i'm meeting you what should i say what are we doing will it be awkward what are you gonna do a lot of nerves kind of thing yeah i think very hard lah. yeah because it's not like the guy already planned something very fanciful and then brings you to like woo and like like mesmerize you Everybody is just like so chill, go and eat McDonald, go and watch movie, go and sing karaoke. Okay, so you guys ask all the weird questions and bad things about dating apps. So I'd like to share something a little bit more positive. Um, I'm gonna talk about like my best dating experience or like the best date I've had. So there was this guy, um, I'm gonna call him N. Yes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, that's not a short voice name, nothing related. I'm gonna call him N. So, um, N is this guy that he's sort of like a. He has a social media pres presence, and so he is um, someone that's very detail oriented, and then he would um, really like pay attention to the small details and um, plan for dates. I think he's the only date I went that like really brought me to interesting places that really fascinates me because I'm quite an adventurous or like curious person so I love to like go out and like play I mean like just try new experience in general like so he actually bought brought me to an underground um, bar he brought me to like a gaming concept bar I mean it was really wholesome like we play games we chat find out more about each other. I would consider that to be the best dates because of his personality. Okay, now I'm going to share something juicy about that. Is that recently I saw him being featured in one of the video and then he, okay, and then he, um, they were, he was talking about his dating experience. So he shared that he went to eat ramen with this girl and then I was like, oh, sounds like me. And then like, as he went on to the second half of the story, right, it did not tally with my story. So in my mind, right, obviously I acknowledge that he has been on dates with other people and it's t totally normal and fair and I'm not like very significant or special but in my mind, I'm like, how many girls did he actually bring to that ramen store? Okay, so since I have some time left, I'm going to go back to the <laughs> question just now. How is the experience must say all 10? Okay, I'm going to share like the top three most interesting ones. Um, I already shared one just now, right? It's about this N guy, right? So I'm going to share two more. I, will, I find them interesting because they are very unique experience, yeah. Um, not like the guy... No, 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 don't put people down. Not like... It's not about whether the guy is outstanding or not or like they are good looking or what they did is really like the the exchange that we had was unique that made me remember them yes okay so um the first the second one is actually this abing guy am i even supposed to say abing like okay so um why i call him abing is because that he likes to oh my gosh i feel like I'm like stereotyping, please don't like scold me, but okay. I make I bring characteristics. <laughs> yes. Um he like likes to scold vulgarities in Hokkien. And then like when we hang out, we hang out at playgrounds and he tells me about his 222 family complicated freaking complicated family problems. And he constantly swears and swears and swears and I really don't speak Hokkien and I don't understand Hokkien. But it's not like, it's not like what is and fun gun, you know. I don't have any like bad feeling against him. I just found him very interesting because I feel that when I meet someone very different from me, right, it really like intrigues me to like want to understand why they think this way. Yeah. So his mind was very interesting to me and I felt that he was also a very sincere guy who has like um a lot of 
goals that he wants to achieve and he's actually working very hard for it. But I feel like somewhere along the lines he sort of already like classified me as someone that is not suitable for him because of maybe my the way I hold myself. Yeah. I mean I don't think I considered him romantically but I think it was cool as friends. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Okay, so there was this another guy, um Okay, yeah, this another guy, he's like a singer. I think now he's a singing instructor. Yeah, so I remember him because it's a nice feeling to meet someone who is as passionate as you, who has a passion. And while he rambles on about his singing, I ramble on about my dance. And we both know how it feels like to love something so passionately. And we, I believe we would respect that if we were together, we would have our own time to pursue our passion and also have time to come back to each other yeah so um, he left a very deep impression because he really sings very well and I went for one of his performance and what else what else That's, that's all lah, yeah. So basically, it's because of the passion that I, that like I think I sort of have this like preconceived like notion that maybe someone that were would be more suitable for me would be someone that also has a very strong passion for the arts or anything sports something just something that you will do and then stick to me all day. Yes. Yeah. So all in all, um, I would say that like. Even though the experiences I share with you are the more like extreme ones and the really positive ones, there are some like mediocre experience and um, those dates that only happened once and I honestly don't even remember their names. I pray that they don't remember mine too so I won't feel so bad. I think it's a phase of life and I'm open to talk about it because I don't feel ashamed using dating apps. I think... I don't think I did anything wrong and we are just like making friends, hanging out, exploring possibilities and actually through the app I did meet like a few like-minded people like I have a dance friend, I mean I have a friend met there and then he became a dancer and then he's from Hong Kong and now we still like share dance videos with each other, yeah. So all in all would I recommend dating apps for people? Um, I feel like kind of mixed about this because I know that a lot of you feel that it's a little bit unnatural to meet people online and you, I know I hear, I hear this a lot from my friends, they say that like they are unlike me where they can like break the eyes and feel not awkward like meeting the person and like just talking and talking and talking. Yeah, so... And it's pretty draining to be honest to like share your story again and again and again. I have no idea how many times I shared like my life experience with at least like I don't know 50 people or something. Yeah. So it was really a very long journey and in the name of love, no lah. <laughs> in the name of um trying out new things and uh, meeting new people, yeah. Um, uh, if you really want to give dating apps a try, I would recommend you to try with an open mind. Yes, um, try not to have any like stereotypes of how you should be, what kind of guy you want to meet. Just really use it as a way to get to know people and that is when you'll be able to see what they have to offer and it'll be very interesting. Yes. So with that, I've come to the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking non-stop. Yeah, that's all. Um, I hope like, you know, guys, no gentlemen, no men are affected um, in, by this video. Yes, you guys are cool and hope to see you in the next one. Please like, subscribe and comment on what you think about my experience. Yeah, or ask me more questions. Yeah, there's nothing fearful to share. Everything is transparent because I literally did nothing, nothing more 
innocent than, than taking a selfie, seriously. I didn't even hold hands. Just take a selfie, that's the further. Bye guys!